We want to turn to the developments in the death of a trainer killed by a killer whale at SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida last year. The park was hit with several safety violations, and now it's fighting back. Betty Wynn has the latest. Hi, Betty. And that's right, Rebecca. You know, in addition to the safety violations, SeaWorld was fined $75,000, and it was ordered never to let trainers in the water with killer whales again. This amateur video taken last February shows Don Brancho playing with Tilikum, the six-ton killer whale who just moments later would take the SeaWorld trainer's life. We actually have a trainer in the water with one of our whales, the whale that they're not supposed to be in the water with. Brancho was nose-to-nose -nose with Tilikum, the largest orca in captivity, when it grabbed onto Brancho's ponytail and dragged her into the water as an audience watched in horror. Ever since her death, Dawn's family has been fighting to keep photos and video of the attack captured on an underwater camera and from a tower at the center of the park from being made public. But on Thursday, U.S. District Court Judge Gregory Presnell disagreed, saying the legal basis for the plaintiff's request is murky, to put it mildly. None of the statutes purportedly relied upon by the plaintiffs can provide them with the relief they seek. The family seems to have a strong moral argument that this is the death of our loved one. We don't want this to be made public, but strictly on a legal basis, the judge said there's no basis for keeping it private. The death scene materials are in the possession of OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which investigated the attack. Last August, OSHA ruled Brancho's death could have been prevented and fined SeaWorld $75,000. SeaWorld disputes the findings and is appealing the ruling Monday morning in court, pitting the aquatic theme park giant against the U.S. government. Now the proceedings will be overseen by an administrative law judge. They're expected to last a week.